Good evening and welcome to the Tasmanian Premier League show for a wrap up of all the action from around the state. Joining me tonight is Walter Pless. Good How evening, you Jeremy. How are you going, Walter? Very well, thanks. That's for a goal feast this weekend. It was, wasn't it, Walter? And joining us from the Glenorchy Knights is Josh Fiorini. How you been, Josh? Good, boys. Good evening, Pete. Well, we may as well get straight into it. The first game up was your mob, Josh, up against uh, South Hobart, and we'll just take a look at that action now. Um, what were your thoughts heading into to Friday night's clash? Um, the boys, we were confident. We um, thought we were in with a chance to take the points this week. Uh, we had some plan tactics to go into the game with, but unfortunately the result didn't go our way and we didn't take the opportunities. We're just watching your uh, Brazilian import there. How's he fitting to the side? He's, um, he's brought a new life to the team, I have to admit. He's a great influence in the team. Um, his skills are absolutely brilliant. Um, he's helped us out a lot and his communication with the team is a bit hard sometimes because he doesn't speak much English, but no, he's definitely a positive and he's a great bloke to have in our team. We just saw yourself uh, scoring a fantastic goal there, Josh. Uh, do you uh, get many with the head? No, mate, that's my reality. I have to say when the boys are able to close my eyes when I have after that one Friday night after me. No, I definitely take it. More to you out there Friday night. What, uh, what did you make of uh, the evening's match? Well, it was a very important game for South Hobart, Jeremy. They had to win that to stay at the top, and they did it after a fairly slow start. I think. Um, when it was 1-1, you would have been pretty confident, wouldn't you, Josh? We were. We definitely thought we could, the half-time break couldn't have come quick enough, unfortunately, for us. We just didn't take our chances. One post and a couple of different loud goals didn't help our chances. What, what, what was the feeling, Josh, uh, at half-time with the boys? Um, it was upbeat in the change rooms. It was the most positive I think we've been in a long time. But unfortunately, we just didn't take it down to the field in the second half. And uh, we just saw a dog there. The game did sort of go to the dogs in the second half for you boys, didn't it? It did, mate. It did. Unfortunately, the fitness died at the end. Walter, uh, how is South Hobart looking? I mean, last week wasn't a, a convincing win for them, but this week, uh, their second half? Yeah, I think after a slow start, Jeremy, they finally found uh, their form. And they're getting better each week, I would say. All four goals were quality goals, and I think they deserve to be top of the ladder at the moment. We're watching the, the Brazilian fellow here, Josh. Um, what, what's his um, what's his skill level like? It's a very high skill level. He's got the typical South American low gravity, um, silky little turns, and quick on his left foot. He, he can use both feet, but he loves to go left. But unfortunately, his communication sometimes just doesn't help us. Tackles like this in the back line, Josh. Is uh, what are they? Are they just uh, a little bit of lack of discipline there. Definitely a bit of lack of discipline. A bit of frustration. Always some sink in when the fitness starting to run over the top of us, unfortunately. Um, a few old horses in our team, we just can't seem to calm that down, but we're working on it, and it has been quite good so far this year. We just saw Tom uh, Roach score a wonderful goal there as well. That was a great goal. It was a good cross from Abbott on the left, and Roach just twisted in the air and steered his header into the far corner. Very and good. Bart Breekhoft uh, left alone there in the middle as well, Josh. That must be really frustrating. It's very disappointing, but I think I'll probably put up my hand because he was my man on the night, and I didn't actually follow him in. So I definitely take the blame for that one myself. Very happy with the first 45 minutes order. I thought we matched them. Um, obviously we need to work on our fitness a little bit more. It was definitely the last 25 minutes they just ran over the top of us. They deserve the win. Uh, we'll work hard over the next two weeks. Yeah, a big win for us, uh, Walter, tonight. Um, I thought the first half we were a bit sloppy, a little bit patchy. Uh, we played a bit silly at times with square passes, but the second half we really got, got at the ball and we started to exploit them in the wide areas where we thought we might be able to. Well, the next match uh, will go down to uh, Kingborough there for the, the, the clash with Newtown Eagles, Walter. Yeah, the bottom of the table clash virtually. Newtown Eagles and Kingborough are both struggling. They've only got, uh, well, they only had a point each when they went into this game and a win would have been very handy indeed, but their lack of goal scoring ability was shown once again, and they had to settle, f settle for a goal to straw. There's so much hype about uh, Kingborough though at the start of the season, people really talked up their chances that they, they could probably slip into a top four spot. Well, not last year, but the previous two seasons, they finished second on both occasions to the Knights. They're a very well organised club, they're fit, but I think their big handicap is that they haven't got a goal scorer. It's as simple as that. I mean, like you said, they haven't lost too many players either, really, have they, Walter? 
No, they've retained most of their players. Charlie White has recently come back. And they've been a unit for several seasons now. If only they could find a goal scorer, they'd be, they'd be OK, I feel. I guess the major loss would have been Sunita, though. He, he's probably one of their biggest losses. Yes, one of the best young players in the state, lured to Victoria, as many of our promising youngsters are, and he certainly is being missed by King. And obviously Newtown, they're, they're really struggling, uh, a club with a lot of uh, a lot of passion, a lot of supporters. Uh, where do you think they've gone wrong over the last couple of seasons? Well, they're in a rebuilding process. The problem is how long does the rebuilding process last? They've got a lot of young players who are taking time to develop, and I think uh, with a few more experienced heads in the team, they'd probably do a bit better. They had one recently, um, the English chap who was injured and then just disappeared off the off the scene. And I guess uh, no disrespect to the Eagles squad, but probably lost their best player in uh, Taliga to the uh, to the Zebras. Well, Taliga originally came to them from the Zebras, and after two seasons without any honours, I guess he decided it was time to go back to the reigning league champions. I guess it must be hard for for both clubs to try and try and attract players when. You're sitting down at the bottom of the table with only one point in there. If you're at the bottom and going nowhere, it's pretty hard to attract talent. Yeah. There are a few young, uh, well, young players there in, in Vernon. Uh, what, what did you make of his game? He was all right until he got sent off for a second yellow <laughs> card. And this happens a fair bit to Eagles. They, they spoil their performance by having players sent off. Just young, uh, probably a little bit immature, lack of discipline. I think so, and over exuberance probably often, which leads them into making tackles, which uh, attract their low cards. I guess uh, Ian Parker, do you think he'll have another year at the club if uh, there's no result this year? Oh, I'm sure he will. Um, he was a great player. Uh, he's still learning the coaching game, but he's been out for two years with Eagles now. And I think a three year term at least would be the done thing. I just uh, see the uh, yellow card here. Uh, Vernon's second yellow card and he was given his marching orders. Uh, I think everyone uh, realised that at that stage he was off the ground and obviously that doesn't help uh, a young side trying to redo it. No, it means another player out for the following week. Oh look, I think it was quite a, um, an intense game. Uh, we had the ad sort of periods of the game where they were on top and um, we had lots of uh, periods there where we were on top. It was going to be anybody's game, and I think whoever scored was going to be the eventual winner. To come up with uh, with a point, you know, after going down with ten men, yeah, okay with it. These are games that we need to win. Both sides are looking for. If we're looking to finish further up the table, then these are the teams that you have to beat. And that's no disrespect to Eagles; they would have said the same thing about 